Hi and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. This is me Siddharth Hazra and today we would be discussing the problem insert in a sorted linked list. So one thing to mention here is that or to observe here is that the linked list is a circular linked list. Okay. So let's say you are given 1, 2 and 4 and the node that you need to insert is 2. So what you need to do is you need like this would point to something like this. This is the first realization. And then what you need to do is you need to cut off this and then mark to 2 and 2 should mark to 2. So the final link list would be 1, 2, 2, 4. Let's do the second sample test case 1, 4, 7 and 9. And the data to be inserted is 5. So this needs to be blocked out and 4 needs to point to 5 and 5 needs to point to 7. This is what is expected. So let's just observe the second sample test case. Okay, what did we really do? Okay, so now this was the initial of what is present and this would be termed as a head and you would be given this. Nothing other, no indexing or anything is present in a linked list. So what we would do is, if you observe here, we would first see the value to be inserted is 5. Okay, the value to be inserted is 5 here. So first, we would go till the point the value is less. So head is 1 is less. So we would take one more pointer. Let's say this value is known as current. So initially current is less than 5, good enough, we would make it move forward and now still current is less than 5, this is good but current dot next is greater than 5. So we would move till the point where current would be less than the given value, that is GV, given value. Okay, we would first move till the point, then we would be at a point where the currents next would be a value greater than the given data. Okay, now what I want? I want current to first point to 5. That is the given data. So what I would do is in the next step, I would say currents next should point to given data. This is the first thing. And Given data's next should point to 7. So given values next should point to currents that is this value. This currents next. Currents next. This is the algorithm when we need to insert the value in the middle. Seems good. Okay, so that this seems good enough. But what is the scenario when we have the circular linked list somewhat like this? 4, 5 and 6 and then 6 would point to 4 and the value to be inserted is 3. Here it is a little bit tricky on this part. Okay, if it needs to be inserted ahead. What needs to be done is, at this point, this is the head. The first condition is that head's data is greater than the given value. If this is the scenario, if this is the scenario, what we need to do is, we need to have here given value and given values next should point to head given values next should point to the value head okay this is the first step and then we need to locate this last pointer okay we would traverse it till we get we would traverse we would first traverse and locate the last pointer how do we do it we use something like while heads next 
is not equal to null. We would go till the point and we would locate this because 6 next would point to null. This is fine. And then we would say at this point, let's name it as tail. Let's name it as tail. It would be more feasible. Now we have the tail pointer. Now tails next. So tails next should be this given value and this first we would find and iterate and then we would do these two things. Now there is one more thing. What would be the scenario if the linked list does not exist? If there is no linked list, if we are given a null pointer, then we would introduce a value given value and its next should point to the given value. Let's first implement this when head is equals to null and then we would keep implementing all the things. Okay, the very first thing is we would take hold of the current with by making copy of head. This is what I did. And then we are making a new node with the new data. So now I would say that if head is equals to equals to null, then I would say that new new or let's just gv given value so given values next should be equal to the given value and then we would return it the given value this is what i did the last scenario the next scenario else if let's handle it going backwards when heads data is greater than the given value if the head data is greater than the given values data okay if the heads data is greater than the given value data or greater than equal to if it is greater than or equal to we would insert it in the front first what we need to do is we need to iterate and find the tail. How would we do it? We would simply write while currents next is not equal to head. Why? Because see, this is equal to head. Like this is a circular linked list. Na? So currents next should be equal to head. I just told null, but this would be this is a circular linked list. So it would be a tail thing when its next would be equal to head. So while current's next is not equal to the value head. Good enough. And we would keep moving forward. Current is equals to current dash next. Now we have the hold over the tail pointer. We have the hold over the tail pointer. Now current is a tail now. Current is a tail now. So first we would need to make tail point to the given value. So I would say current's next. Okay, currents next is equals to the given value. Okay, and given values, this point, given values next should be equal to the head. So given values next is equal to the given head. And then we would return, the head is now changed to the given value. So we would return the given value. Okay, now comes the point where we need to insert it in the middle okay so first we would go till the point current pointer is greater less than the given value we would first go till the point while i would just simply write while currents next is not equal to head this is just a safeguard that i don't iterate outside the linked list and then the very next thing is you can just skip this also and currents next currents next that's data okay currents next data is less than the given data that is given values data if that is the scenario then we would keep moving forward current is equals to current dash next we are we keep moving forward until we have this as the current okay now given values next should be equal to currents next 
given values next should be equal to currents next but it should point to this given values next is equals to current next and then currents next should point to given value currents next is equal to the given value okay head would remain the same and then we would return the head now let us just compare and see how many errors are we making seems like some error is made i would just name it as kar good enough okay so that was it for today so the time complexity of this algorithm is big of n because we are just iterating over the linked list for once that's it for today thank you and have a nice day